Hey, Abby, it's Rick Cowan, Beautiful Beast of Softball. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Oh, doing really well. Hey, first off, uh, congratulations on your commitment to Central or Southern, is it Central or Southern Methodist University? Central Methodist University. Yeah, outstanding. In Missouri, correct? Yes, sir. Well, good deal. That's a little bit away from home. How, how did you go about making this decision and talk to us just a little bit about it? So I went on a few different visits and whenever I got there, it was just kind of the right fit. So um, it felt like home, like it was super nice. I felt super welcomed. Everybody was super nice. It's a super pretty town. Nice. Just, you know, you're a Texas, you're a Texas girl though, right? So you're gonna go to yeah. school there, but you gotta come back, right? Oh yeah, I'll definitely come back. All right, well, good deal. Well, on behalf of all beautiful beasts across the nation, we just want to say congratulations. It's just really well done. Thank you so much. I, I know that you had other options, um, looking at schools, looking at you and you looking at other schools. So uh, it's nice to hear that you finally you know, did settle on one and, and we're just really excited for you and for your class. Thank you so much. Hey, what would you tell the other girls that are you know, in the, your graduating class that are still, you know, trusting the process, they're trusting, you know, God to um, get them where they need to be. What would you, what would you say to them? What advice would you give back? Definitely just trust the process. You have to trust the process. It's a difficult year. Nobody ever expected for there to be a pandemic. You could just have to keep working as hard as you can, putting all your effort into it. Um, keep your grades up be super motivated. I know it's hard to keep a good attitude, but have that great attitude, be super loud on the field and work as hard as you can. Yeah, that's well said. And I remember whenever I come in, watched you play, uh, you were, you, you could be heard all across the complex. <laughs> so you're a very vocal leader and, and that, that certainly got a lot of people's attention. So yes, well, sir. well done. Hey, one other thing too is, you know, I, I coach a 12 U team and they're not all on social media, but I know that you are, you've, you've been on for a while and you leverage social media to help you in the process. What would you say kind of advice as, as advice to the 12 U girls that hopefully will get to watch this? Um, post your life. Don't just post softball, post your friends and things you do, keep things appropriate. You know, just really have fun with it. Don't make it so much as where you're swarmed with softball and it's not even fun anymore, but make it, make it something that you really, truly enjoy. Very well said. I know just from watching you and watching your passion with the sport, you really love it. It's, it's a real rewarding to be able to see you play. And I got your autograph, so I feel really <laughs> blessed. <laughs> and Again, I just wanted to kind of wrap it up and just tell you again that we're just super excited for you, Abby. Um, I know it's been a long road for you and well done. Congratulations on, on behalf of all of us across the nation. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. I am for you as well. Have a great day and have a good practice tonight. Thank you. You too. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.